Welcome back. Next up, we have two ladies who had quite a week performing for the people of Pennsylvania. Welcome, Mia and Apple. It's so great to have you. Hi. So tell me about your farm show experience. Well, what did you guys do at the farm show? Um, I went to see a bunch of, like, vendors and the stands and stuff. Um, but that was all after you did what? After I sang the national anthem. Mm -hmm. How awesome is that? So both of you were selected from a statewide search of Pennsylvania residents to perform at the Pennsylvania Farm Show, and the national anthem kicks off that day's festivities. Mm -hmm. So Apple, that was so neat for you to do, and Mia, so neat for you. And Mia, a little birdie told us that you were the youngest performer ever selected for this honor. Wow, how did that feel? Were you nervous? No. Why not? Um... What gives you your confidence? Um, I just say to myself that I can do it. And you, and you did? Yeah. How did it feel when the crowd erupted in applause when you were finished with the anthem? Um, happy. Yeah. Do you think it'll be your, your only performance at the farm show, or are you hoping to head back? Um, and maybe next year, maybe when you're older? I Who think knows? I might head back. I think she might head back too. And you have been real. I mean, a lot of us know your beautiful singing voice just watching you. I mean, I know you from the Rail Riders games. You've sang, performed there multiple times. And I know people love it when Apple's doing the anthem because we know it's going to be so, so beautiful. So tell me, maybe as a veteran performer in our area, how that prepped you for the farm show? Um, I think it was. I think it was good because yeah. I'm used to the bigger settings. Yep. But um, the the farm show was a little bit smaller than usual, so I think that kind of helped. Yeah. So you kind of had the bigger venues under your belt, so then you got to the farm show and you could really show your stuff. Mia, I'm wondering if you look up to Apple, or did Apple give you any maybe pointers or tips heading to the big farm show? Um. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool to look up to her, right? You think one yeah. day you'll be hitting the. The rail rider circuit, just like Apple. <laughs> Yes. Well, you're right. all with Spotlight Kids, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and I think I kind of want to set the scene because if you're thinking, well, how do you sing the national anthem at the farm show? The farm show, as we have learned throughout <laughs> this week when I was there, is a very big venue. So you, you sing in a spot, but then it is, it, it is uh, pumped through all the speakers and sound systems in all the different areas. And we're talking about the largest agricultural event under one roof in the whole United States. So, I mean, that's such a big honor for you ladies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very cool. So, my next question is how you got started performing in the first place. Was this always something that was, and how old are you? I'm 13, and I've been performing since I was, like, two and a half. Wow. So, do you remember, I mean, do you even remember your first performance and what made you love it so much? I do, actually. Okay. Um, well, first, there was, like, an audition at the mall mm -hmm. and I did that. That wasn't really a performance though. I auditioned to sing for the Rail Riders and then when I was three that was my first performance ever that I remember. Oh, you okay. sang at three at the Rail Riders? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Both of our careers began at the Rail Riders. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Mia, what was the describe to me the best and or funniest animal that you saw <laughs> at the farm show? The bunnies. Why? What did um, they look like? Um, they were like so fluffy. Were you able to touch them? Yeah. Wow. Did you take any home with you? No. Did you want to? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. But cool to see all the animals under one roof, right? And kind of get yeah. to experience that after you were already done with the performance. There you are with the butter sculpture, how cool. Look at that, I mean, over 1,000 pounds of butter. Guys, if you needed to sculpt something out of 1,000 pounds of butter, what, oh. what would you want to make? Um, I'd want to make a butterfly. Oh, uh, a oh butter. butterfly. <laughs> Look at this one. Wow, it, because she of that play on words? Mm -hmm. Look, Look at, at that. that. Mia, did you know Apple's also a comedian? <laughs> Their parents are over here in the wings all, all cracking up at that, so they're making someone laugh. <laughs> Us too. Mia, if you can make something out of butter, what would you want to make? What, what? A dog. A, a dog. dog. Well, how about like a dog with a butterfly on its nose? Adorable. The best of both worlds. Maybe next year if you need another gig for the farm show, if you're sick of singing, that could be it. But congratulations. I mean, this didn't happen for no reason. You're both very, very talented. So thank you for sharing it with us here on PA Live. Thank you for having us.